Welcome everyone to this simple Photoshop text tutorial. My name is Thomas and I'm here to teach you how to do this kind of I give this kind of appeal to the to any kind of text you make in Photoshop. Uh, also just before I start, this is Photoshop C6, uh, but this will work in I think all Photoshop versions. So if you look closely right now, you will see what the changes I've done with the text. This is before, this is the plain white text, and this is after. I have added a smooth gradient, a, a drop shadow, and made the edge crisper by adding a settling out inner glow. So we're just going to do that right now, and you will see how easy it is to change the text uh, into something more appealing visually. So I'm just going to delete this. And we're going to make a new text. Use the text tool. A uh, shortcut for that is just T on the keyboard. And if you type, I don't know, bold text, uh, I use the I use uh, phone font Black LT Black Condensed. It's a very nice bold font, and I really recommend it to uh, artists out there who design stuff. It's a really appealing font, if you ask me. Now we're going to make this text a little bit bigger because I'm recording this in a higher resolution. It'll probably be a uh, small on the YouTube window. Okay, so the first thing you would like to do is make the text white if you haven't. Then go into uh, the blending options. Uh, go into the blending options by simply double clicking the text layer. Uh, you want to add three effects to this text you want to add the drop shadow, gradient overlay and inner glow. The first thing you would like to mess with is the gradient overlay. Now the first thing you would like to do you would like to change the scale to 50%. You will then change the opacity to 20%. You can also play with this if you like. Uh, I recommend to keep this uh, in the suddenly uh, area I guess. Don't make it too uh, contrasty. Make it too, too, too much. Simply. Make it. I, I like the 20, and I sh I shift between 15 and 20. It just gives a great, smooth appealing to the text. Next thing we like to do is go to the drop shadows. We would like to change the opacity to 65%. The distance is on five. I think I can change that to seven. Then change the size to nine. Uh, yeah, no, keep the distance at 5, change the size to 9, and keep the past at 65. And that should be pretty nice. Now go to Inner Glow. Just change this from yellow to white. And. Uh, yeah, you can keep it at 85%, the opacity. And that should really do it. If you click OK, you can already see that we have already applied that same effect you saw earlier. It's simply no difference, and it really gives the text a much uh, smoother visual appeal. Uh, I see many artists do this with their graphic content, uh, on posters, in videos, motion graphic, all that. It just really gives um, a plain text something more uh, to make it stand out even more from the background, and what's important with text is, of course, that it's readable and it's clear and should be easy to read. So this would kind of help solving that uh, challenge. So yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any uh, suggestions to other tutorials, uh, other things you would like to know, please do comment below. So thank you for watching and goodbye.